What's up everybody, Brian here from T Sportline. Thanks for tuning in to part two of our Tesla Cybertruck dissection and inspection. And if you haven't seen our other videos already, take a look in the link, at the links below in the description. We've got a few videos. First, we talked about the underbody, some of the drivetrain. We did some of the basic uncovering, taking off the side panels and looking at the bottom. Then we did a video on the auxiliary power on the rooftop. And then we did one talking about the stainless steel panels. So today I'm gonna to follow up with answers to questions that you had from those videos, give you a little more data, and then we're gonna dig in. We're gonna take the front liner out, get into some of the auxiliary power details up here and follow up from there. So come on in, let's get started. Okay, in the video I talked about the stainless steel being partially magnetic. We, we've done a little more digging on this and confirmed this, this Stainless here, this is a proprietary stainless alloy from Tesla. It's partially martensitic as a result of the cold working that it goes through. So it's basically a stainless steel that has some partial magnetism to it. What does that mean? It's stainless, it's not gonna rust, and it has partial magnetism as you can see. If we look up in here, this is also stainless steel, this substructure to the, to the front panel, but not, not magnetic at all as you can see. As we move around in here, obviously there are components that are made from a mild steel that are highly magnetic in your bracketry, your hinges and stuff, but that, that's pretty much what we have going on up there. Um, from a thickness perspective, as we've seen before, the panels on the truck are a nominal spec of, of 1.4 millimeters we're measuring right around there, 1.44. And the differences on the doors, they're actually 1.8. So you can come around to the edge here and we can just catch the edge of the door and we're getting a little, a little over 1.8. It's tough to get, get, there you go, 1.8. So the doors are a little thicker than the panels on the rest of the truck at 1.4. Now, Let's go ahead and get into taking the front liner out. I've got Ollie here, our technician from T-Sportline to come in. We'll walk through this. And the reason we want to take this out, not only to show you what's underneath here, but there's auxiliary power down here as well. So in the last video, we talked about auxiliary power that's up on the rooftop. If you come up here for the light bar or whatever accessories, we've, we went through that. We're going to go through that again. But in the center screen, it shows another auxiliary power port up in the front. So if we bring this up, go in here to outlets, we've got it turned on and off. But this is the one we talked about before that's in the roof for the light bars. And now we've found out where the power feed is in the front. And that's what we're going to go take the front liner out and expose for you. So Ollie, let's go ahead and take this front liner out, starting up here. Okay, to start with, we take the, the top tray cover out at the top. So remove this, put this off to one side. And then we're popping this out here? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uncover all of the bolts and stuff that you need to do first. So in the, the, the bottom of the, the tray, you have these hidden, these hidden covers, which you can just go in and lift up. You have one each side. You want to pop, go side? Yeah, I'll pop this one off. Okay, and underneath here you see you get the, the four bolts, two on each side. So let's them do these two. Do you want to you get those two? One up there, you want to grab that one. Okay, and then you have another one up here, and the same on the other side. Careful, don't you drop it. Okay. Once right. you've undone the six, you then have two of these, one each side. And what you do is you grab the, grab the nut itself, pull it towards yourself just a hair, and twist it counterclockwise, and then you'll find these will come out. And you do that both sides. All right, let's get this one. Okay, once you lift this out, you will have 
um, a plug that sits on the back of the emergency front release. Um, so I'm going to get Brian to come around the other side to unplug that while I lift this out. Wait, first let's get the uh, washer oh, cap over there. You're right. You got to take the washer cap off. So remove the washer cap and then the rubber gasket will just come up with it. Drop that in the front. Lift this up. So if you come around here, you can see this is a typical Tesla light connector. It's got a little disconnect on it. You can't really see it too well, but you just pinch that and pull that out. And then you can take the front liner out. Pretty good look here at the Giga casting. That's pretty awesome. You can see that on both sides. Um, aluminum alloy there. This little substructure here, this is mild steel, got some coating on it. Wow, look at the size of the wiper motor up here. Thing is giant as you would expect. Gotta take care of that giant wiper motor. We've got brake fluid, hydraulic brake fluid up here. Got some of the HVAC system moving over. Uh, you've got some coolant up here, coolant system. Gotta love Tesla's naming, the Mega Beam. Check, out, check that out, the Mega Beam, part of the cooling system. The Super Manifold ver version two, V2 of the Super Manifold. Part of, this is part of the HVAC system. Got our fireman loop here. So if you would have just pulled that top cover off, this is what you're snipping to shut down the high voltage power. Moving back in the middle, 48 volt battery back through here. And we've got our jumping points for charging or jumping. You've got 48 volt power here and a ground there. We'll check that in a minute, but that should be live. Then coming down, let's see, washer fluid, obviously. And I've noticed right off the bat, this, um, this, cut, this shroud here looks like for an air intake on the cooling system. Check this out. It, it is not snapped all the way in. Not a huge deal, but interesting to pop this open and see that like that. So the auxiliary power, this is it. We have just, we've already unwrapped this. This was wrapped in black tape, but this is the 48 volt auxiliary power that we saw the on off switch in the center screen. So you've got 48 volts underneath the, underneath the frunk here that you can use for whatever. From an accessory perspective, you've got to take the frunk liner out to get to it. But this is what we've got. And we have checked it out. This is a 400 watt auxiliary power. So 48 volts, nominal 48 volt system, up to 400 watts. It's, um, we've got a green wire here. We've got a, black, a blue, let's see, red and blue wire, and then a brown and blue wire. So the brown and blue wire, this is the ground. This is your common or your ground wire. The red and blue wire, this is gonna be the 48 volts. So that's the switched power wire. And then the, the green wire is the Tesla LIN bus, the uh, LIN or the local interconnect network. Um, so that would be a signal wire assuming if there's some kind of Tesla accessory, you would have access to that here. So we have checked these. This is 48 volts switched. Um, you can turn it on and off in the center screen. That's what we've got there. Come down here with me for a minute. In the first dissection video, we showed this grill shutter system that's behind the bumper. So let's come on into the front and take a look We've got the um, grill shutter system here, which is basically ducting for airflow into the cooling system. You're gonna see we've got a, we have a cooling a radiator back here. There's a fan module on the back side of it. You can't see the fans, but air is basically coming up through that grill shutter, coming up under this shroud through that radiator drawn through with those fans. Now, this is our cabin filter. It's, we're gonna open this up and just take a look at it. Okay, T20 screw, let's take these out. There's a couple plastic clips and then T20 screws. You can pop these clips down. I'm gonna pull this out. And that's our cabin filter. 
pretty good size compared to other Teslas. That'll keep you clean. Put that back in. Okay, back in with our T20s. And again, you won't have to take the front liner out to get to the cabin filter. There is an access port in the front liner where you can just pop that open and get to this. So I think compared to other Teslas, this is gonna be easier to get to. Definitely easier than the, in the S or the three. And we can take a look up in here and see it's not much more we can get to without digging a lot deeper into this, but a lot of cooling system hardware up in here, HVAC system. I think that's it. That's a pretty good look. All right, let's put it back together. That does it for the second video. Thanks for tuning in. And if you have questions, put them in the comments below. We'll try to hit those in the next video. Make sure you subscribe too. We have a lot of Cybertruck content coming your way. Thanks again from T-Sportline. See you next time.